when people ask me, what do you do in life? I don't know if I should answer. I'm a coach or I'm a professional athlete. And I guess I'm both. But most people think you can't be both. I feel like I mumble. Just put subtitles, okay? When I said yesterday I wasn't nervous, I think I was lying. I grew up in France, in the French Alps, a little farming village. And it was quite good. It was mainly a childhood being outside. On school days, if there was a lot of fresh snow, my mom would take us out of school. And then the teachers would get mad at her, but she was like, well, it's more important for their education that we go out traveling or we go out skiing than to be in a classroom. So I like that. My mom doesn't like when we're too nice. Elle était très dynamique, toujours partante, toujours drôle, toujours prête à partir. When we were kids, both of us wanted to be Olympic champion in skiing. That's uh, basically the only goal we had. She was always the one like training hard and wanted to succeed. And because she was smaller than all the other girls, she had to train more. I did biathlon when I started, I was 13 years old. I did it until 19. My dad used to be a ski coach when he was quite young. And he always told me there's no point being too fast, too young, because you want to enjoy the process. And then if you're meant to be good, you'll be good later on. I remember one thing. When she was about 14, she was in a cross country ski team. And she asked me to show her a new trail for running and she asked me to run. He said, okay, let's go. But after 15 minutes, I was exhausted. I could not uh, follow her anymore and uh, I let her go. And that's the day I realized, say, okay, she's grown up and now she's much better than me. And so I remember that day. But I still get the top in front of her because two different summits, she went to the left. I call her and say, hey, you, you went the wrong way. So she has to come back and I get to the top before her. I think that's the last time I beat her. <laughs> I don't think that will happen any, anywhere. <laughs> oh. Come on. I like what's called sky running, which is running on ridge line, rocky, you cross glaciers and you have to cross rivers and the most remote races is what I like. The technical bits can be challenging. Sometimes it can be almost scary. It's super steep. It can be um, yeah, really high on the ridges and things like that. So it makes it uh, very challenging. And also the altitude can be quite high. So you need to be acclimated to survive the races. We have really steep climbs. We have really steep descents. Yeah, makes it a bit more difficult and a bit more exciting than your average trail race. As an athlete, uh, she's uh, really tough, I think. She's, uh, she can push really hard, especially in the uphill when it's technical. I think she can uh, also hang the, uh, the pain quite long. 
I've seen her be in some of like the darkest, lowest points and um, not give up, but instead to come back stronger. She manages to push through regardless of how she's feeling or how hard things are. She, she has shown her abilities already and uh, I'm sure she, she will continue to do so well and uh, even do better in the future. So yeah, in the end, I've never wanted to be a trail runner. I knew I had abilities, but I didn't like ever consider running as something I would do later or professionally. And it kind of like built up. I got into that team in uh, Saint Julien, and then later on, I got invited to a race with Scott. Uh, the first time I met her, she had come to do the vertical K as well as the half marathon. And there I see this this young woman coming with the armor in the sling and I'm like, what are you doing? And she's like, oh yeah, I'm here to run a very good kilometer. I'm like, but you're missing an arm. And she's like, yeah, but you don't really need your arm to go uphill. And uh, she ended up placing on the podium. And so that was my first encounter with Iris. And I really like right off the bat realized, okay, she is someone special. Go, Iris! We didn't even call it trail running. And usually when people ask me, oh, do you do trail running? I'm like, no, I run in the mountains. It's more like there's some mountains out there and they're beautiful and I want to see what the views are on top and I just want to enjoy being alone in nature. So I go and run in there more than I'm training to be a trail runner. Iris uh, really has her own personality as an athlete. I think in, in the life she is uh, really active, she's doing a lot of things, uh, also with the coaching as an athlete, and, but she still takes the time to, to go paragliding sometimes and enjoy the life, so she's uh, quite unique. I'm 29. What do you expect from life when you're 30? I don't know. A house? Kids? Yeah, none of that. I <laughs> <laughs> don't even have the boyfriend to make kids anymore, so I'm not getting there anytime close. <laughs> yeah, it's 7 p.m. I just got in my room again. It often feels like I'm the one taking care of everyone, making sure their training is perfect, making sure they're good, they're not tired, I'm here, I listen, I I just hold them. But then when, when I need help, when I don't feel low, well, there's no one. And that's, I guess, the mentally tough part of this job is as the coach. Well, you're not allowed to complain because no one cares about you. Well, update. The hotel's got a mini bar with some, um, some whiskey all written in Russian. I'm not sure what it's like exactly, but I'm sure it's gonna be good for my mind. That's when you do. It's been a bit of a long day. Yeah, I feel like a, a great coach and a great athlete right now. Please send help. In this day and age now, traveling is becoming so competitive that you cannot afford to not be focused and her job as a coach because as much as she's trying to be a Torah athlete, uh, she still needs to work to sustain herself financially. Usually my off season is when I go back to work coaching. It's hard because when people ask me what do you do in life, I don't know if I should answer I'm a coach or I'm a professional athlete. And I guess I'm both. But most people think you can't be both. All of a sudden that can have an interference with her focus. It's definitely a lifestyle that seems natural to her, that fits her, but that is extremely demanding. in the morning we are on the lake 
and my training buddy and I'm not sure what this is. I never know what's going on in this country to be fair. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, girl, that's it. Come on, up, up, up. Then you hold your tripod on this side. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. Day one, Arctic Circle race. Yeah, it's good to be here, isn't it? Happy me, she's I need to get home. Being an athlete, being someone who works, being a girlfriend, being a sister, being all those things. How do I manage everything? It's like yeah, where's the balance in all this? Et je pense qu'aussi le problème de ta taille quand tu étais petite, c'est ce qui t'a poussé à toujours être plus grande que les autres. And she thinks all my insecurities about my body as a teenager is what push me wanting to be good. Mm -hmm. To show like well, I'm the smallest one. Mm -hmm. And that's what wanted me to like be like well, I can be the biggest girl. As much as when you you see her the first time, like like this little piece of woman, uh, always smiling, always open, um, like she is tough. It was difficult at school because she was small, and uh, many many kids make fun about her because she was very light and she just. Uh, use her as a kind of toy just uh, sometimes it was uh, it was hard for him to accept it because sometimes it was too much what she has experienced in the past and what has been thrown at her um like would have broken probably uh half of the the people that work with or i know Sometimes I would feel anxious or grumpy. Uh, it was pouring rain and I was like, tired of being inside. I'd just go out and smash myself on the trails here. In those years, it has been like really tough on her, uh, but I think that's what also made her such a strong person, just like not taking shit from anyone. And uh, yeah, mentally, she's just super strong. I, she can go really deep in uh, the pain cave, as she say. Uh, she loves to push herself and, uh, and to go beyond what she should be able to do. Uh, if I'm going to do a sport, it, just for fun and pleasure, but if it starts to be a bit painful, I'll just slow down, take a rest. And she's just like, no, that's when it starts to get fun. I show up when I race, uh, but that's 1% of the time. 99% of the time, I, it's just my time alone and my way of escaping everyone. If I go out, I just want to feel like I'm, I'm doing something and I'm hurting a bit, and somehow I find enjoyment out of that. Traumatic experiences, sure, they have left scars because this is called the life experience, but that shaped her into a very, very tough person, able to take anything pretty much uh, upon herself. As a coach, I do believe that an athlete will not be able to achieve their burst performances if they're not healthy uh, in their mind and they know their why, why they're getting involved, why they're doing all this training, why they're wanting to perform. Uh, at these levels, you know, it, it, we always say it's through struggle that you find growth. I think she's right in that center, in that situation right now.
being out in the mountains and flying uh, and seeing her friends, it's really related to her why. That's her why. She just wants to have fun by doing those things and pushing herself to find her limits and potentially go beyond that. I've been like, go, 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 since I'm 15, and now I'm like, okay, maybe I don't need to be so full on all the time. <laughs> I don't think I want to be that kind of person who just sits back and doesn't like move forward in life. But what's moving forward? Is it achieving more in terms of sport? Is it working more? Is it possessing more stuff? I don't think that winning competition is as enjoyable for her as it is that going with a couple of friends in the mountain just for fun and having a good time. The character. The character, plus, I think, plus que le rêve. Parce que le rêve, c'est pas facile à arriver, mais le caractère fait que t'arrives. I read something that um, happiness is when you desire wha what you already have and you keep on wanting those things. And it kind of resonates with me now and I'm like, well, if I think about like the life I want to live, I'm really not far off. Quelqu'un me demandait comment je me sens quand je cours. Je leur dirais que c'est là où je me sens le plus proche de moi-même et le plus réel. Thank you. 